Once upon a time, there was a half black, half Chinese guy named Bobby. Now, Bobby was a computer nerd. Every single day, he'd go onto Minecraft and play on dedicated servers that only Notch and the entire Minecraft crew plays on. So basically, he's just a Notch wannabe. One day, one of the guys he met in Minecraft said to check out the Bloody Mary story. Now, all of these guys were like, oh, yeah, sure, I already know that story. But Bobby, since all he does is play Minecraft all day and he doesn't have a good life, he decided to check it out. So he saw the so he heard the story, you know, you have to go in the bathroom at night, turn off all the lights. So he decided to try it. He, he waited until midnight, which was the perfect time to do it, to do it. And then he went into his bathroom, locked the door, and instead of doing the Bloody Mary thing, he had to take a huge crap. So he took his crap, and then he did the Bloody Mary thing. And then after he did it, something happened. He heard a tap, like he heard a tapping noise behind him. He turned around, and then he saw Billy Mays. Billy Mays was right in front of him. Now, Bobby was speechless because he knew that Billy Mays has been dead for three years. But then Billy Mays is like, Hi, Billy Mays here. Bring you this time OxyClean. Or just saying his, his OxyClean ad over and over and over again. And then Bobby's like, So when are you, what are you going to do now? And then he's like, and then... Our spy plane's in the air. And then Billy Mace is like, I'm gonna give you a free box of OxyClean. A free box of OxyClean. And so Bobby, since he wasn't paying attention to the commercial at all, and he only knows Billy Mays because of his Mighty Putty commercial, he thought it was crack. And so he smoked it. He smoked all of it. And then... He started to feel a little bit drowsy. He felt like he needed to go to sleep. So he went to sleep. But then when he woke up, he was in Candyland. And then all of a sudden, Joseph Coney shows up. And then he's like, hey son, what you doing? You want to go buy some candy in Candyland? And then Bobby's like, yeah. So they are off in Candyland. They pick out a lollipop from the lollipop garden. And then they licked it. And licked it. And licked it. They licked it until it was on, all gone. And then they accidentally licked each other's faces. And that's when both of them turned out, found out that they were homo. Now, Bobby wanders around the streets of... Northwest Africa going up to random guys and just air. saying to them hey I just met you and this is crazy but here's my number so call me maybe he says it but with a really weird accent an accent that'll just creep you out it's an accent that me that's the storyteller can't even imitate and it creeps everybody out but it also hypnotizes the guys that he says it to and the guys actually call their n the number and so when they call Bobby answers and all he says is seven days so he says seven days and then he hangs up and then he starts playing Minecraft again but one time, oh, one time, one time he was walking down the street and then he saw Chuck Norris. He told it to Chuck, but then Chuck's like, screw off. And then Bobby's like, oh yeah, why you know, why you know, call me number. And then Chuck Norris is like, 
I don't want to. You're half black and half Chinese. Why would I? Who is half black and half Chinese in this world besides you? And then Bobby's like me. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, Bobby has a Chinese face. Like he has a Chinese body, but his skin tone is black. So he's a half black, half Chinese guy. His mom, his entire family on his mom was from Africa, but his entire, but his, his dad and all of his dad's family is Chinese. Now back onto the story. So Bobby gets really mad, and then Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris is just standing there, giving him the stare. Bobby faints. Bobby has a heart attack. Bobby dies. Bobby is buried in a toxic fountain. Bobby goes to heaven. He sees Osama bin Laden. And then he's like, Hey, Osama, do you want to go? And just go on top of this flying seal that I have? And then Osama's like, Okay, ma, sure, let's go on top of the flying seal. And so both of them lived happily ever after in heaven on a flying seal flying across the entire world at the speed of light. Except the only problem is the seal keeps on pooping on everyone's heads. The seal poops like one huge snowball every hour. So basically, everyone's screwed.